Hey guys, it's Peter, head coach from Team Liquid. In this low cross pro match analysis, I will break down the picks and bans in the LPL match between OMG and ADG. So, the OMG banning Lulu first because Lulu is the champion that Pawn played her many times in LPL. And the uh, OMG's Melina Kuro, I really love to play Assassins. And uh, in my opinion, Lulu is a champion, very good deal with uh, Assassins. So, OMG ban Lulu. It's for astrology reasons, and uh, it can be shown. OMG maybe want to play a team comp with Assassins. So, because Ku is a very strong millionaire, and it's his very important part for the OMG. So, and uh, of course, EDG knowing they Ku love to play an Assassin team comp. So, the EDG band is uh, all mega champions to target at Ku. So, and OMG was being like a, mostly like a meta band because LPL match is still on the patch 5.2 and Azir and Alessandro bans were like an OP champion right now. So overall, there's like a 6 ban was targeted at both millionaires. So we can see both DG and OMG target at a millionaire. And because they ban 6 mid champions during this game, we can see a 2 mid champion that always be picked in the game. So OMG first pick NAR. So first of all, NAR is a very popular champion in LPL. And, uh, why he is strong because he has a very strong laning and he's very good for split push and he's very good for team fights if you can control Megan on time very well. And uh, he is very tanky. So I think this is a very good first pick for OMG and uh, because from the other side, Koro 1 play a lot of good now game. So now could it be picked, it prevents EDG from picking him in the first pick. I think it's a very good pick. So we can see here EDG was picking their bottom lane variance you so vigor and koki which i think it's a very strong bottom lane in patch 5.2 so vega was become very popular right in 5.2 but unfortunately it's no longer true after patch 5.4 but for patch 5.2 and 5.3 vega is a very good support because in my opinion vega has a very good ct and like any and it's just more easy it's because it's just his E. And the zone range is much better and the CD is much shorter. So we can see right now OMG picks of Rek'Sai and the Graves. I think these two picks are pretty standard. So first is Graves. Usually we pick like we like to pick Graves into Koki because I think Graves is really good into Koki. You won't lose trade so hard and you're very strong with your boost cure combo. And the Rek is, is always be considered one of the best junglers right now in this patch. And there's all, only two champions are good in the jungler. One is Rek and Nedley. The reason these two champions are good is because they can do the full clear in the jungle and a lot of mobility and a decent team fight. Well, Nedley might be a little weaker, but Rek of course, is better. And Rek is lovely enough to play the Rek though. So here we can see EDG is the third and the fourth picks pretty much like uh, can show in their team comp. That's what I mentioned. EDG is a team, love to play a team comp team, while OMG was more like an individual skills. So we can see they're picking Rambo and a John Force here with a Vigor. So it means like their team comp will be very strong in the mid game with the Wombo combo. So I think it can almost show in the EDG's uh, game plan. So right now OMG should be just go like a uh, split push. So OMG's last two picks are very good. So they were knowing EDG has a very strong team fight like Vega, Rumble, and John Frost, Koki, which means you can do any stuff against them in the mid game. So OMG decided to use a team comp with a split push team comp with a Tristy Fate to help the side lanes. I think it's very good for the OMG to use this strategy because usually we use the split push to deal with a team fight team comp. And we can see Graves, Morgana, and Tracy Fates wave clear is very strong to clean the mid wave and also they have a Morgana black shield to counter engage the OMG's Vigor. So I think it's a good pick. So the last pick for EDG is Nedley. So first of all, I don't think Nedley is matched with EDG's team comp, but I can say Nedley is probably Pawn's most famous champions. I remember the first time he solo killed a faker in lane was with his Nedley, whatever, but that's an old Nedley. Because Trace Fate is kind of weak in laning phase, but and also they know in the Morgana here, they don't have too much counter, hard to engage for OMG. So Nedley will be very good to poking them in the turret. And if you got one spear, you have to back. So I can got a cup of objective. And then you can fight us because I'm a very strong team fight team comp. So I think it could make sense here. 
we see the benefit here and as I said, EDG is a team, a very good, very good at uh, team fight. So they probably pick the most strongest team fight team comp in the whole league. But OMG pick is very smart. So we can see they have a not split with a Tristy Fit help, which I think Rainbow will be have a very hard time for him to lane in, in the laning phase. So, and also EDG's team comp is very depends on the group as a five push a turret or forcing a projective while OMG can just like, all right, so you are you are doing version control in my jungle. I can just let you do it and I go split because I have so much like global skill like uh, Trace Defeat OT, Rek'Sai OT, and I have not have TP. So if a team is very smart, they knowing how to deal with a t team comp, like it is just team comp here. What they're going to do is like when they forcing some uh, objective like Dragon, you need to push it immediately and force them to come back to fight at you. So that's it for the picks and the bans. If you have questions, tweet me at Liquid Peter. Be sure to check out the other parts to the pro match analysis at lowclass.com.